Okay, welcome back to the Final Fantasy X Masters Challenge mod. So again, before I started, I wanted to kind of look at some notes or observations I kind of made as I was editing and such from last time. So, ow, I bumped my hand on my desk. So, I looked into the agility tick speed brackets and it turns out 17 is in a different bracket than 16. Um, it's like slightly faster. So for that reason, I'm going to keep Riku in the front line like this. Also, also related to Riku, her luck stat is 27, which is substantially higher than everybody else's. Like even Titus and Waka that I straight up gave luck stat from the spheres. Riku's got 27. So, it could be interesting to see, like, if she gets a bunch of evasion down the line, maybe. Or if there's, like, an opportunity to raise her strength some. Maybe building into some luck stat for her and getting crits. That might, there might be something to that, but uh, I'm not too sure because I haven't really looked that deep into the sphere grid to really be able to say. Just, just something I kind of observed. Also, as I was looking at the recording, uh, I noticed that... And, and this is something that like I kind of tend to do when I'm playing, like, anyway, mod or no mod. But I noticed I'm very... I, I've mentioned in the past, I'm, like, very item stingy. That's just kind of how I am, like... When I play normally, I tend to go MP first, item second, just so I don't burn my resources. But it's possible that this kind of playstyle has also been maybe giving me like some game overs like in the last session. Maybe I could have used some items and avoided some game overs. I think definitely using the items, like there's something to actually using the items and not just hoarding forever so i'll try to be better about that but i can't really make any promises because it's hard to relearn like a, a play style that's kind of hard baked into me but i feel like i've been doing okay at least so maybe maybe i'll get a little better at that it's definitely It's interesting, I guess, is what I'll say. Like, that combined with, like, the amount of differing strategies that you can use with encounters has been interesting for me. Because when I've, like, gone back and watched uh, my recordings, I've, like, noticed things like, oh, oh, I could have been using, like, Threaten more. Things like that. It's not necessarily that there's one perfect strategy all the time for areas and especially because we're getting to the stage of the game now where we have customize as an element in the mix that definitely opens up a lot more differing strategies that you can kind of utilize so it'll be interesting to see what kind of becomes of that and the last thing that I need to mention is I actually found a pretty good spreadsheet, at least it looks like, that has like a super comprehensive mix list. Like you can select the mix that you're looking for and like it'll tell you what that one does within the spreadsheet and it will also pull up like I think about every combination possible that you can use to make that mix and then you can filter it down by a specific item so if you're wondering with this item in your inventory, could you make it? You could filter it down. Or you can just select two items. If you're curious what that will make as a mix, it'll give you that. So I may likely reference that spreadsheet some, and I'll, I'll have a link to it in the description so that you guys can also check it out. And I attempted to practice the Aurochs reels a little bit with Waka 
just using like supercharged cheat and I was doing a little better at lining up the or the actual like Aurochs Blitzball one but the thing about that particular overdrive is that it's a very flexible tool like yes you can just use it you know line up the Aurochs symbols and do like you know decent big damage but you've got like elements with it you've got the status effects from status reels so there's definitely I would say a lot like a lot higher of a ceiling for what you can do with it than what I'm even still tapping into and also just as a disclaimer just because I practice it does not mean I'm still gonna be good at landing it consistently so don't don't get your hopes up for this part of the game, I don't have any crazy revolutionary ideas for overdrive mode, so I'm going to go back to Comrade rather than Ally, and we'll just have to see how it works out. I'll have one last look at equipment before we go anywhere. Not sure if there's anything crazy revolutionary I can do here. I know I definitely don't want to have water strike kinds of deals here because of the like water elementals that there are. So I guess like Waka, you could have lightning strike. And Orin. I'll put Orin back on the silent strike since that was kind of helpful in the last session. And Lulu. She does have double water ward as a potential option. But at the same time, like, I feel like one should surely be enough. And we just stick to having more MP because her magic defense stat is naturally going to be higher than everyone else's. So just one water ward automatically kind of puts her leagues ahead in terms of resisting like water damage. At least water magic damage. And then I don't think there's anything I really want to do here. I'm going to go back to Stoneproof in case the lizards do petrify. Unless... Yeah, I don't have any better ideas than that right now. We'll just have to change as we go, probably. Ah, and of course I need to bring up the item spreadsheet. Make sure I don't miss any chests. Let's see, there wasn't one there. Oh, there is. Alright. What does it say? It wheels all elements in a self-chosen pattern. So I don't know if that means it's random. Or maybe it maybe it means like this particular instance of the Chimera will pick the pattern, but the next Chimera might use a different pattern of elements. Not too sure. Let's start with Orin and have him silence. And what else could we do? Normally this guy's physical attack is like percentage based in terms of health, so I don't think I'm going to power break him for now. I'll see if I can poison him too. I guess just to be on the safe side, we'll do this. Okay, silence is definitely putting in work. And you can poison him, so that's cool. Hmm. I kind of have elemental weapons on everybody else right now, so I'll just stick with our current party. Ah, I forgot about this. So Riku's probably dead. Yeah. Okay. Have to be have to be careful about that. One move that is not affected by silence.
So, if the moves are going to be the same, then it also has the Megido Flame. No idea if I'm butchering that pronunciation. But this would theoretically help for that. Yeah, okay. I guess I've also turned my game volume up a little bit. So hopefully this audio balancing is a little better. Is it still silenced? No, but it will be. Ah, yes. I need to learn Aqua Breath. Hopefully Kamari doesn't die. Nope, all good. Alright, so that wasn't so bad, but I do need to remember those non-magical elemental attacks are not affected by silence. Nothing, man. Fair enough. I kinda wanna go back to the save sphere. Just bump it and <laughs> retry again rather than rather than spend anything to heal right away. Would like to get a little deeper into the forest before I before I use too many of those resources. Alright, so these guys are the same. But hopefully they don't use Hopefully they don't use their haste at all. That that was kind of annoying. No. No. And I have no idea what the Zephos is going to do. A lot of damage is what he's going to do. Ah. Uh, so it's like a more hardcore version of the click. If I were to haste Waka, would he would he get his turn a little sooner? Oh wait, no, no, because he's zombified. No, wait. I'm not thinking at all. I don't like the way this is going. Is this guy's weak to lightning? I want to get rid of those bugs quick. I'm just going to throw a mix out there. Let's let's use this as a test for the spreadsheet. What does the spreadsheet say will happen if I mix two Antarctic winds? Antarctic wind, Antarctic wind, ice fall. All right. Is the spreadsheet lying to me? Nope. Alright, that's good. Ouch. So, don't want Waka in here anymore. Let's have Titus delay him so we can get him blinded real quick. Huge damage. Oh, what? Was that not enough delay? Nasty. Ah, wait, maybe his physical attack is faster than, like, a rank 3 move, and that's what's happening here? That might be the case. 
Hmm. Well, that puts us in a very unfortunate situation. So I guess then, let me do this. Oh, okay, so he's still blinded. I guess I wasn't counting my turns. Interesting. So if we're able to keep him permanently blinded, we probably don't need a power break, but on the off chance that he gets unblinded, I do want to do that. Oh, what? Oh! No, wait, it was just a counterattack. Okay, that's what's going on. He's got a counterattack. At least if I'm understanding this correctly. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I want to use too many Asunas. Granted, Kimari can get his MP back with Lancet. So maybe not the worst thing in the world. I guess we, we can just go for it. We can have Titus come back and... I think he's only zombied. I think we already... Yeah, we fixed him. So we can just wail, I think. He's not blinded anymore. This is a nasty enemy. Man, if this is how this is going, I'm not sure if... Might be all I can do to even make it to Sphere Morph, let alone to beat Sphere Morph in this session. Yikes, dude. We are taking a lot of damage. Hmm. I could cure some with Yuna, but it is a pretty long road. Probably more worth saving this NP for the most part for the Knolls. So I'm going to break into my potion reserve that I've been kind of saving up. To be honest, I'm not even sure if healing Riku is totally worth it. I feel like she might just die in one hit anyway. But we may as well. Alright. So, more silence. You wish. And then... We can do that. Let's have Yuna do another Null Tide. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Picked the wrong move this time. Interesting. He did miss, though. Okay. Well. I would get Riku into... Ooh, okay. I might be able to do it this way. See if we can get poison active. 
Yes. All right. Do another Null Tide so she doesn't get killed. Yeah, I'm still not sure what the best overdrive mode is here because this is another case where we're dodging like some attacks, but not not all of them. I don't know. Maybe maybe the play here is dancer or something. Right. I don't want to take Riku out before he uses Aqua Breath. So I guess we'll just we'll just throw Fish Scale at it because it'll do more damage than she's hitting for anyway. Yeah, there it is. So, all right. So we've, we've gone through, gone through fire, and then I think it spent a turn silenced, and then it used Aqua Breath. So from here, I'm not totally sure what is the play. Guess we can blind him again. Just... Actually, I guess this is a little redundant. Reflex after we blinded him, but why not? Alright, let's try the Lancet. See, what do we get back? 10 MP. That's something. We can just go for a safe kill here. So, I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try... Dancer for most of the characters. Although, for Yuna actually specifically, there might be a play to be made for Rook. Because if I'm having Yuna come into the battle, it's usually going to be for Nulls, right? So Rook might be a little better. But for everyone else, I think Dancer is probably acceptable. Since we are using a lot of darkness. All right. Keeping our money up. That's good. Alright, hopefully I don't lose track of which way I'm going on the trees. Because that definitely happens to me a lot. I foresee no difficulty. Holy critical damage. Alright, so now, once again, we're kind of left guessing what he's going to use. I was right, it is random, the pattern that they use. It's just random per instance. I'm going to go, I'm going to keep going Null Tide first, because I think you suffer a lot more damage if an Aqua Breath connects than if a Magito Flame connects. Because the, the Magito Flame is like one character, but the Aqua Breath is everybody. We'll lance it again. So we're definitely going to kill him before he ends up.
before he ends up going back to Aquabreath, especially if we poison him. So I want to try to get that poison. Yes. All right. Heal Riku's one HP with Prey. It's very important. I hate to hold on to the overdrives for so long. But to be honest, there's not really much worth using them on. Well, at least not yet. So if I lance hit him again, do we get more MP? Alright, so now that burst of 10 was all we're getting. Our, here's our chest here. Phoenix Downs. Alright. Okay. So, this is a lot safer than when we had this guy in the two bugs. But he's still, like, a really fast character. So, I want to slow him down. Ooh, but that does mean that he's going to counter. If I can get my turn in before him. Aw, oh, come on. At that point, I could have just cheered or something. Alright, well, fair enough. We tried. Oh, wait, I had Yuna in. I meant to have Riku in there. I guess it's fine. Speaking of Riku, let's see... I'm curious what kind of poison damage we can do. If we can get it to work, of course. Relax, take it easy. Interesting. So he didn't try to counter us when we used slow. Alright. Let's use one of these. Kind of forgot I was supposed to be trying to poison him. But I mean, I, if he's going to be this slow, then the poison probably not even worth it at that point. I think we should worry about that, even if it is a little more efficient, probably. I think I do want to save Lulu's magic for the elementals again. Granted, I didn't end up even using Lulu that much in the last session when I said that that was what I wanted to have her MP before. Hit through darkness, man. What the heck? Farewell. So 
So we're making pretty good progress as far as just walking distance covered. So I'll use a couple of cures from the menu, since that is the case. I'll just try not to go overboard on that. Sorry, just looking at the spreadsheet one more time, make sure I'm not missing any chests in here. Yeah, I think we're okay. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot about the cheat engine thing this whole time. Whoops. Hang on, let me get that set up. I'm not used to playing the game this way. So having to manage some of the smaller details like the battle theme in the background. Though I suppose, like, it kinda hardly matters from a tactical standpoint. Maybe there's like a small difference to be made, but nothing groundbreaking. I mean, if we're getting overdrives this much, let's just mix two, uh, two of these. We'll send him back to the Shadow Realm. I know I said something about charging overdrives, but... What good is charging overdrives if I'm just gonna... You know, not really use them in the random encounters? I wanna try to avoid... Try to avoid doing some of what I was doing last time. Which kind of made it take like forever for me to get through the Thunder Plains. I think I spent probably longer than I ought to have playing maybe a bit too safely. Oh, yuck. Alright. Alright, so we're not spending nearly as long here as we did in the Thunder Plains, which is good. Oh yeah, let me make sure... Yeah, there's a chest here. Interesting. You're wasting our time! Not pleasant lineup here. I want to try to go for an Orox Reels. This is not the smartest tactical maneuver, but I want to see if my practice paid off at all. Probably not. Nope. <laughs> Too soon. May as well try. Okay.
Yeah, I kind of had a feeling that might happen, but I really want to get this bug out of here before it does something really, really nasty. Huge. And then as for this guy, I think he tanks magical attacks, unfortunately. So what we might have to do for him is, if I don't want to use an overdrive, power break maybe. Nah, we, we can just get him out of here, that's fine. Alright, so not my best showing, maybe. But where's the excitement without, like, a little bit of risk, right? I gotta use those Oryx reels at some point. So I still got plenty of MP for Nulls. Oh jeez, I forgot which way I was going. Ooh, let me think. Uh, I want to say left? No, we're going to the right. We're going to the right. Okay, this is a battle lineup that I was a little nervous about. I think we should be able to take out the bug and then do a null tide. Oh, snap. Okay, we're going to do a null tide and then take out the bug. I guess we'll just chill out for a second. Oh, yuck. Four in a row. Oh, that's so many. Oh, my gosh. Man, even a Null Tide, if you're unlucky, it's just not happening. Okay, then. I think I'm still happy that I got rid of the bug first, because you just never know. Like, they can do some nasty stuff, man. Allow me. Alright, now we can use some of the magic we've been saving. Man, I really wish Lulu's Fury would actually, like, work. It is just so saddening to me that Don't look so shocked. it doesn't, like, function on Steam. Because it ends up making me just hold on to it a lot of the time. Scary. Having to deal with four waters in a row is just awful. Let's go back to the potion reserve. And we were going this way. I'm trying to, like, use my mental butterfly catching map to... Oh my gosh, this again. Oh, Andy gets the first turn. Alright, will we get a critical? Come on. Yes! Fantastic. And we'll just go silence straight away. No taking any chances. Good 
What's really sad to me about the whole, like, Lulu Fury thing... ...is that, like, when you play this game on emulator, it works just fine. Like, I was able to get really good Furies playing the, uh, just PS2 emulated version. It's just, like, Steam specifically just does not like the Fury input. I wonder what the input is on keyboard. Maybe I could just switch to keyboard for that. You know what, I'm gonna make a note of that. See if I can just use keyboard for Lulu's Fury. That's such a random thing to have to do. And can I touch this guy, get no encounters? There we go. Alright, so Makalania took me nowhere near as long as Thunder Plains, thankfully. So let's save. What does Mr. Awaka have? Welcome! Holiday prices on all items in celebration of Maester Seymour Guado's wedding. Alright, now... Is this gonna be a P-Bird mod special where if you tell him it's too expensive, he raises the prices? I'm worried. A whole bunch of ice wards. That's it. Alright. Fair play. Too expensive, you think? Yeah. How about this? All right, thank you, Corifian. Thank you for not making the same joke twice. I appreciate that. So I'm gonna buy this for. Or actually, I need to check and see what Riku has. I'll go with these prices for a while. Because again, with having that little HP, it definitely makes a difference well, when you have. Like a ward like that. Granted, I don't know if this is any better than the lightning ward for the next immediate fight, but it's whatever. And then everyone else, uh, I don't know. I mean, what does Kamari have? He only has an SOS Null Blaze armlet. Maybe this, this is worth... Maybe this is worth getting, just so he has something for elements that isn't uh, an SOS. And then we'll get Yuna on Fire Ward? Because nobody's got a Fire Ward but her. But we've got a whole lot of other stuff, I think, spread around. Right. And then as for weapons, I'm going to put Waka back on alchemy. I don't want him to have... I want too many people to have elemental weapons if we can help it. I think this can't be helped. We're just going to have to leave this like this. I think half MP cost is a little too good. This is fine. Mm. Granted, I'm, I'm planning all of this around the vanilla, of course, fight. We are probably dealing with something different. Let me also buy some... Welcome to buy some items. Oh my gosh, 600. I guess some of these were a little behind on those. And then 30. We can get 20 potions, I think that's fine. Oh, actually, we're going to enter a stage of the game soon where we probably need these. We'll get 20 more. We'll stay at 70 for now. I'll get 10 more. Why not? 80 potions. 
Just in case we get like a chest with potions or something in it. I think that's an appropriate usage of our bonding. Ooh, right. Let me have a quick glance at the readme. Make sure that I don't mess anything up for... Or Sphere Morph specifically. Alright, so nothing with Cutscene Remover. Nothing with Full Party AP. Which, again, Full Party AP... I'm really only just having on to make myself feel better. Like, there, there should be a way for me to get everybody in every fight. I think. Alright. Let's have a look at the morph. What are we working with? This place, it's just water, isn't it? This is what spheres are made of. It absorbs and preserves people's memories. What's that? Fiends are also attracted to these places. Immune to sensor, but so maybe we still have the classic sphere morph where it just where it just you know counters with the elements. Let's poke him. What happens if we poke him? Oh, snap. That's so much damage. Alright. Oh. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a second, I didn't sign up for that. Immune to censor, but... Uh, I probably am not supposed to have the sensor on. Whoops. I may have broken the fight a little bit. I'll, uh... Might be a little late to turn that off. Hang on, give me a second. Okay, we're back. No, no permanent sensor. So just to just to check, yeah, okay. I may have accidentally spoiled the fight mechanic for myself. Uh, that is a very big oopsie on my part. I did not intend to do that. But okay, so when you attack it, it counters with a physical attack. And then. What it appeared to be was whatever element you get hit with on the magic side of things, that is the one that you have to counterattack it with. Which is interesting. It's different. I definitely would not have guessed that. So, un unfortunate that I accidentally spoiled the twist. But now the question is, how... How do we... How do we counter this? Let's have Yuna be in the starting lineup. We are going to be spamming Knowles. That is my initial thought on how do we counter this. This place... Alright, so I think... Purely because I spoiled the fight by mistake, I think I'm kind of contractually obligated to 
to also do crawler after this in this session. Hopefully. I mean, hopefully this doesn't take too long. I don't think it's... I, don't, I would doubt that there's any other bosses that permanent sensor, like, specifically would ruin the mechanic for. Just because there's nothing else that's, like, you know, purely an element battle like this. Oh yeah, that, that is super unfortunate. Alright, so we want to attack it with Thunder. I don't think this is exactly the lineup I want to be using for this fight. I need to get... Who do I want to get out? I feel like getting Kimari out and getting Lulu in is probably a good idea. Oh wait, I think I misspoke. Since it used water, we have to attack it with water. But maybe... Can we get her a turn in before... No. Let's cast some focus. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to change my overdrive modes again. I think this is a fight. I remember thinking about this before this session. Like, oh, there might be something to be said for, oh, for Rook overdrive mode. Oh, dude. Oh, we're so cooked. Oh, we're so cooked. So, okay. Hang on. That's interesting. So, it it's always going to use the... The number of spells it uses is always going to be the same as the number of characters in the party. But who it uses is on... Who it uses it on is going to be random. That's interesting. Alright, let's change everyone over to Rook real quick. Alright, and then the same deal, we'll just start with you now. Uh, and then Kimari, I guess Kimari will just trade out for Lulu. Right at the start, we can... I don't know, have, have her cast focus or something. Shoot, man. I'm still feeling so bummed out about the sensor thing. I feel so bad. I didn't mean to, like, tamper with the fight in that specific way. It's just water, isn't it? Ugh, I think I just have to cast. Lulu has on a water board, right? So, if it casts waters, then she'll be okay. And then Titus has a lightning ward on. Although, he was getting kind of cooked. It seems to be doing those two more often, so I don't know if I'm just getting, like, lucky or something, or if it's... I don't know. Oh, dude. Holy smokes. So, alright, I'm seeing the vision here. 
Yes, methinks we're going to have to do some customizing. Because if you don't have any wards on and you guess wrong, you are just cooked. <laughs> there's just no there's just no way around it. Alright, so. Uh what does Titus have on for armor? We'll start with him. Lightning ward. Yeah, we'll just yeah, and look, it only costs one. This is very clearly what Kerufin is trying to get us to go for here. Um I think let's decide on like we should have the same three on everyone, so we can always start with the same ward. So where's the armor Yuna has on? Ah, uh, she's got that. Okay. Do we have any other free slot armor for Yuna, or am I going to have to buy something? Mm. No. Uh, I might have to just cave and... Cave and buy something. Because I definitely... I don't think it's a good idea to have our to have different people be vulnerable to different elements necessarily if we Well, then again, maybe there's nothing wrong with that. If we have different people vulnerable to different elements, that means like maybe one person could potentially get cooked by an element attack, but since Ice Ward is the stuff we buy from the shop, let's just say Ice Ward is our thing. We're going to have everybody for sure have. And then... Then... Water Ward, why not? Then Yuna... Oh, we gotta pick a different armor. That one's just not gonna cut it. I guess we could just have her be the... Be on Ice Ward. Let's have her... Let's have her be Ice and... I guess... Fire? So we'll always do Null Tide and Null Shock, and then... We can get something similar for you or for Lulu. So ice and fire. Ah, okay. So she's got a two free slot one. Let's have Yuna and Lulu be both ice and fire. Yeah. Oh, where is it? Uh, Guardian Bangle, hello. Am I blind? Oh, I'm so blind. Alright. And then I guess... Yeah, for the sake of it being, like, a more authentic experience, we'll just, uh, I, I will, I will take it upon myself and make it my personal mission to get everybody in the battle once, even though we do have, you know, full party AP. I think that that's, I think that that's fair. Alright, Orin has water, and yeah, let, let's just make ice like the thing everybody has. So that I know what's kind of safe. Although, if it's element shifting every turn, I wonder if even that would matter? I'm not sure.
And we'll give Waka a fire ward. Eh, where is it? What's he got on? Going through the menu so fast I can't even see what I'm looking at. Alright. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I'll save over the customizes. I don't think I have messed myself up, really. I'll just do what we gotta do. Get everybody in this fight at least once. Fiends are also attracted to these places. Okay. So just to refresh my goldfish memory, the thing that Titus is not have a word for is fire. And Yuna. Okay. Mm. Maybe she should have matched more closely with him. So we'll do a null blaze and then I guess a null tide and uh, pray. Or no, not a null tide. It's gotta be... Oh no, 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 water's fine. Maybe I should wait since Mari's got nulls on him like right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll have him wait a turn. Oh, ouch. Very unlucky. Now we're in the situation where we, uh, we've got no nulls at all. all right, ice and fire. So focus may not be a bad idea here. I don't know. I don't think there's any way I can get Yuna in before the boss. Yeah, that's just not happening. I'll try a focus. Alright, taking some damage. Ah, I think Ice was the one thing Waka was not. Okay. Mm, so Titus has no blaze, no tide. Not lightning, not ice. I wonder if it goes in an order. It's like because it's used those other two, will it then not use? So the next fire? Or no? Okay, maybe it's just random. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, oops. That is unlucky. So wait, does... Did I not give Waka Ice Ward? Oh no. No, I went against my own philosophy that I said I was going to do. I said, okay, we're going to have everybody be on Ice Ward, and then, and then I just didn't give him Ice Ward. Oh my gosh. What was I thinking? Why would I have one person... No, it makes no sense to have one person be, like, vulnerable to a different element, because then, like... 
if you have like a situation happen like that what what was I thinking this isn't smart ah uh, alas that's all right I will I will live with the consequences of my actions. Alright, so the two safest options off of the start are still fire, I think, and... Was it water or lightning? Fire and lightning. got fire, lightning, I guess we do water next. Fire, lightning, water, ice. Because I doubt I would use ice twice in a row. Hmm. Let's start with this. Just kind of keep everybody... So, now, pretty safely situated. Let me have Kimari do a little bit of that. I wonder if this boss is, like, smart and he reads your gnolls. Totally forgot what was on Lulu's armor. Okay, uh, what else have we not seen? What has this boss used so far? Come on, brain. We've seen ice, we've seen lightning. We haven't seen fire or water. We can get both of those in. Oh, I didn't check the armor. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Three out of four chance that Lulu blocks whatever it is. Okay. I'm gonna get some more focuses in. Just try to keep these three safe. So we've now seen fire. We've seen ice. We've seen lightning. We've not seen water. So it went like, it was like blizzard, lightning, fire, water. So I'm going to write that down. Blizzard, lightning, fire, water. And then I want to see if it sticks to that order or if it uses a different order and it's just random. Also, what is going on with my computer? Why is it all angry? Alright, so it just used water. I'll do another focus. And then... What are we missing now? 
Oh, right, it just used water, so of course that's the one we're missing. Wonder if we can reflex dodge its counterattack. Ooh, okay. So, oh, whoa! It takes all four elements away from you. Oh my gosh. That's interesting. So maybe I misread at the beginning, and you do actually still have to counter it with the opposite element. Ah, shoot. Uh. Okay, well, if it used water as its last one, then maybe it'll use ice? If we're staying in a consistent order. I'm not sure. Okay. Alright. So theoretically, we'd want to counter with fire. We're a little vulnerable. Let's just see. Okay, so the counterattacking thing is still the same. Ouch. So then we want to pop a old shark. Actually, actually, let me heal Lulu and then start rotating another party members. Assuming I am understanding the order here correctly. Just have Lulu defend and not attack again so that we don't lose the null. Alright, so we're we're going in an order then. It's ice, lightning, fire, water. Solid. Alright, so in that case, it's probably safe to turn the full, or the, yeah, it's probably safe to turn the center back on, right? Surely. Yeah, okay, okay. So I, I didn't ruin the fight mechanic, necessarily. I thought, I kind of saw at the beginning, and I thought, like, I had uh, done something that I wasn't supposed to, but no, that, that's not the case. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's end with Riku, and then... Oh, but no, the physical attack might do a whole lot of damage. I was thinking of maybe having Riku be the last party member I rotate in, and having her, like, throw stuff at the boss, but I'm worried that that counterattack is just going to one-shot nuke her. Uh, well, I guess I could still do that. I just have to use... I just have to make sure that she's under protect. Okay, so next, theoretically, is fire. Let's see, does this boss stay consistent? Oh no. I don't know, it's random. Ooh, not good. So, in this case, what I will do is I will protect Lulu. And then Akimari has a bunch of these, that's right. Hmm. This is kind of... Uh... See, now I'm a little spooked because now we're, we're like running low on nulls here.
Right, I guess we just gotta... With what we've got, so we got Ice Ward, Fire Ward. And it just used Ice, so it's not probably gonna use Ice again. I think we'll do one of these. Okay. Kinda lucked out there. Interesting. Alright. Um. So, weak to Blizzard now. See if that protect helps us. Yes. All right. Good. So what do we have now? We have Null Tide and Shock. I guess next we can get our fire back also. And I will pop a focus for Riku. Oh, I'm half tempted to give Riku a, a curtain here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that, because the SOS shell, that was only two curtains. I think this might be worth it, in case I guess wrong here. Alright. So we can get our little frost back. Ah, okay, so we can reflex through that. Alright, so we... No Tide, Blaze, Shock. Which one is Riku missing? I'm gonna have to check that out. Oh, wait. I'm so dumb. a second. Please shock fast. This is mostly for Riku that focus. From that camera angle, it looked really weird, like, which ones it was targeting. So I kind of thought at first, like, maybe it was targeting, like, different people, but I'm not really convinced that that is the case anymore. Huge overdrive gains. It's a shame it's fury, but Ugh. ah, now we're now we're using press, and there goes all of that, and we still don't know what it's. Uh... Still don't know what it's vulnerable to. So this fight is kind of cool, because if you just think, oh, let me stack all four elements, no. This Fear Morph is going to take it away from you. You kind of have to balance what things that you have. 
which is cool. Ice, water, lightning. So, we're still most vulnerable to fire at this point. And then besides that, I think water's, yeah, water's pretty bad. And I guess lightning is also pretty bad. So we'll do that, but we won't do all four. At this point, we probably spammed enough focus. Alright, let's see. Yeah. So it's never going to use the same one twice in a row, as far as I can tell. So you want to always be on three out of four, I think. Blaze, Shock, Tide. So let's do Frost. And then, what one did it just use? Used Water. So we want to do this. I'm trying to not abuse the sensor. I still, I feel so bad, so bad about the, the sensor thing. Cause like for a fight like this, where the mechanics are purely about the elements, having like the X-ray to immediately notice, okay, nothing's like changed. Uh, I worry about the integrity of that. I did get everyone in, right? Kamari was in, Waka was in, Orm was in. All right, yeah, we're good, we're good. I think press might still be a percentage-based attack. Because it's not like it one-hit killed Riku or anything. Nice. Riku doesn't have protect, does she? No, not yet. So, go back to fire, I think? Goldfish memories. A real struggle. I literally, like, forgot already what I just cast on it as an attack. I feel so dumb. Oh, yikes, man. Unpleasant. Wonder what kind of lightning mix could we make? Would it theoretically kill him? Oh, we're in a real pickle here. Seeing as how I've kind of uh, goofed this elements thing. So it just used lightning, right? So we've got fire, lightning, ice. Okay, so there's a chance that Riku dies. I hate to use the Mega Phoenix, though. There's definitely going to be a situation later where surely I'd want to use it. Okay, we're taking some risk here, but I'm just going to heal Yuna to full and hope that her wards are gonna be favored in this interaction. Ah, nice. Not good. I think we're cooked. I think I, I've messed this up too badly.
What I probably should have done is take advantage of the uh, take advantage of like shell and protect. I probably should have done that for everybody instead of relying purely on the gnolls. I think that would probably be the key here to success. So I, I think I'm just going to have to take the L on this one. Because even if I could kill it with an overdrive, I'm not going to get AP for everybody. Or well, I mean, I guess I do since I have the thing turned on, but that's silly. Eh, maybe there's a way we can clutch this. I'd, I'd doubt it, but you never know. Not having haste, though, that's kind of brutal. Oh, it's percentage of max HP, not current HP. Ah, lovely. Yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're cooked. I think we start this over and play that a little better. I'm glad even though I kind of monkey-brained some of the mechanics at first this that it's place. it's kind of falling into bump my microphone again. Bad, I'm kind of glad I this is what spheres are made I got somewhere at least. It absorbs and preserves people's memories. What's that? Fiends are also attracted to these places. All right, so our lessons learned from last time were we want to protect in shell because of the off chance of it picking an unfavorable attack. It's not really using a clear like pattern for the spells as far as I could tell. It's just random. That's about it. Okay. So I'm gonna... I, I feel like I want to have Yuna kind of wait here. And not pop any more nulls until we get Lulu. Ugh. And again, let's let's get a null blaze on Titus at least, because I think he was weak to fire still. And we'll pop focus. I keep forgetting, like, what is on Lulu's armor. What do I actually need to give to her? It is definitely costing me. Maybe at that point, honestly, it's just better to give her shell. If I'm really not remembering. That's probably... Yeah, there's probably something to that. Yeah, I definitely did that to myself, forgetting the armor and all. Alright, so it's not going to use lightning again.
We'll just leave it as is. Ouch. Alright, so... We know it just used ice. It's not going to use that a second time in a row. Alright, this is actually perfect, because Waka, he's got, he's got things for every other element, so he'll be fine. I just want to get through the prep phase of this fight, we cycle everybody, and then we kind of make it to our ideal party at the end. So, used Null Tide, or it, it used water, so Null Tide is the one that we don't really want right now, but we can get away with Ice and Fire. I think Fire is one that fewer people have, so... Wait, <laughs> I see an issue. Oh, we can get him out though. So, like just, just use dice, right? That was it. Shell her. No, I don't think I have a choice. I kind of have to do this. This might, uh, it might not have been totally safe. Ouch. Yeah, no, that was not safe. I gambled a little bit. This is not a smooth run of this. Not as smooth as last time, but I think we still have it. We still have a decent chance. If I do both of these, I think Riku's safe. Or, meh. I don't know about that. There's a chance that she's safe. <laughs> There's a chance I start this over. I don't know if I'm happy with how this instance of this fight went. I feel like I'm kind of butchering it. At the same time, though, it kind of ruins the spirit. I'll just... I suppose I can live with my mistakes. At this point though, it's like... Basically guesswork. Honestly, no, if, this probably isn't even really worth like... Continuing in this fashion because Riku is just going to be permanently like dead since I chose to bring her in at a really bad time. I think, yeah, I'm I'm not quite happy with how this one went. I want to give this another try. Kind of hate to quit like that, but I, I like 
I like a good, clean fight. Where I, I set things up a little more smoothly. And I don't think I... I don't believe that I executed this that place. as best as I water, could or it? ought to have. This is what spheres are made of. It absorbs and preserves people's memories. What's that? Fiends are also attracted to these places. Oh my gosh, even Kamari didn't get in before the boss? Oh, snap. That's not good. Forgot to look at her armor again. I totally forgot. On the plus side, I could just shell Lulu. That is a thing I can do. Alright, what do you what does she have on her armor? It's ice and fire. Okay, so it's the same as Yuna's. I swear, I was so specific in how I set this up, and then I just totally forgot, like, all of those key details. Ah, crap. I said I was gonna do shell, huh? I mean, I guess it doesn't... Yeah. I mean, it, it's... I guess you only need shell if you specifically aren't covering the element that you don't have the ward for. So, in that sense, I guess what I did was kind of fine. I will go ahead and shell her anyway, though. Oh no, fire is the one it just used. That's right. Good chance it uses it. I was gonna guess ice. But no, that's fine. So if it just used water, then we can do that. It keeps them covered. I wonder if he's susceptible to magic break. Granted, if it counterattacks that, and then we pick the wrong null, Orin might be in a bit of trouble. So I guess I won't. I won't do that. Just get everyone in.
Oh, I forgot about protect. Lucky dodge, though. Alright. She can shell herself. And it just used fire, so... So, all right, we lived. I think the focus definitely helps. I'm feeling like I've got a better read on this boss now. Tide frost, okay. You always want to be at like three of four nulls because if you're at four, the boss will eat them all when it uses press or the counter attack for that matter. You want to have protect on everybody because the physical attacks are pretty bad. And what are we missing right now? Fire? So we want to use, yeah. say we protect everybody and I'll do another focus I can't remember how many of these all right how much counter-attack damage is Riku gonna take I was wondering if it was a bad idea to not have her at full HP, and uh, clearly my fear was warranted. Honestly, I'll, I'll just leave her dead and let her get revived at the end. Kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is, I suppose. instead of Riku. Maybe it's just better to have somebody who can cheer in here to try and reduce some of that counterattack damage. Man, I really want to try this. I just don't know... 
that I could really pull it off. So since we aren't technically supposed to know what it is until we like hit it and counterattack it, I'm not gonna cheat and read the element, and I definitely don't want to risk I don't want to risk a counterattack if it is something that we're not immune to really. I'm just gonna wait and do a couple of prays. I don't know if it's a good idea to attack it now and then get counterattacked and then potentially pressed. Probably not. Oh, I guess that doesn't do a, a whole lot of damage. I'll just take the same safe approach so that I'm not technically x-raying it for its weaknesses. I think despite my intentions this ended up turning out scuffed anyway because I have a dead party member permanently now. Oh well, can't be helped. So I guess then it's safe if Luba gets pressed, right? Oh, interesting. Can it do water good twice in a... Hmm. hmm, that's cool. Kind of changes up the counterattacks a little bit.
All right, well, one more of those, and we'll be good to go. Ah, yeah, okay, Sariku came back, as stated in the readme. <laughs> She's still in the death animation, though. That's funny. So, yeah, that's Fear Morph. <laughs> still clunky, despite my best intentions, but I think we did... Fine. We didn't, like, kill our item supply or anything like it was going last time. Definitely a simple rework, but it keeps it kind of faithful to the original Sphere Morph. Definitely made sense that it would be... That it would be a pretty elemental fight. Okay. Ah. Uh, so, since Extractor uh, accidentally like gave some people XP that weren't supposed to have it originally, I might... Actually, I don't know if I can... Just bump up. Actually, yeah, I guess I can just bump up the levels that they had from that. Uh, I don't know. So, what can we customize with Healing Spring? Probably Regen, right? Yeah. Granted, SOS regen is kind of silly, because surely if you're that low on HP, you'll just pop back out of it. What about weapons? Okay, nothing. So, I guess we'll just use healing springs as items then. I don't know if I really see the appeal in SOS regen. Because it's a different recipe for auto regen, right? Or is it the same? Oh, no! Oh, no! Wait! Okay, I'm just being st stupid. I should have scrolled down. Alright, so we can get auto-regen. That's very interesting. I feel like an Orin auto-regen of some kind would surely be a good idea, because he's got a lot of HP. But before we do any of that, I guess I'll look at this fear grid. So this will be my post sphere morph save. Yeah, I think I think uh, I'm just gonna go into far plane and give those people all like one level. I guess it depends. I don't know. I was gonna say like maybe. Maybe it depends on, like, where they end up, but truth be told, I have no way of, like, measuring that, you know? Like, where are they supposed to be on the sphere grid, so. Uh, I'll just... I'll just, I'll just give them the extra level, the people that kind of got some AP that didn't technically get it from extractor I don't I don't suppose that one level is going to be like a game changing difference but it's about enough that like it should maybe slightly improve the situation of them potentially missing a level where they should have one now because of extractor That's my thoughts. Ooh, okay. So, I think I want to... Uh, oh, magic defense. Hmm. That's tough. I think for the next immediate boss fight, physical defense is going to be more important than magic defense. 
So for that reason, I want to go that way. Yeah. I'm not going to need any of that fancy stuff down below if I can't tank hits. Cool. So now, now he's got 22 strength. Pretty decent. And his physical defense. Pretty good. He's almost as tanky as Orin. We'll say definitely, like, this has been a scuffed playthrough pretty much from the beginning. I think just about every boss I've kind of approached with the mentality of I will figure out the mechanics first and potentially do some dumb stuff. And then, and then I will just reset, optimize my overdrive modes and my tactics and stuff. Hmm. Okay, so this is interesting. Yuna could get Delay Buster if she had a lock key thing. A lock key thing, you know? One of those lock things that opens the locks. If she had but one of those, specifically a level 1 1. And then this is the end of Titus's grid, right? Because, yeah. This is like normal where Quick Hit is right at the end. Interesting. There might be some interesting stuff you can do with Yuna later, since there's level 1 locks around there. I'll have to see. Depends on, like, the scope of, like, what kind of key spheres we're getting. Um. Well, I don't know if this helps me or not. We get one auto life charge. give that to Riku every battle. She keeps dying. Well, that's neat. Uh, auto life, huh? If we get, like, MP stroll at some point, that could be interesting. Granted, I feel like that kind of goes against the spirit of the mod to have, like, MP stroll and things, so I personally doubt that we're gonna see that. But I will keep my eyes peeled, because if we did get an MP stroll for Yuna then there could potentially be more of a play to be made with auto life. It's just so expensive normally. Oh, but I'm thinking of the normal cost. That's like 97. It's half MP cost. She actually gets two auto life charges as it is. Okay. So maybe there's something to be said. Do we gain any more? We got one more agility. Oh, wait, what? When, since when did Orin get 9 agility? Wait, when did this happen? 1, 1, 1. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. He started with, like, 2. 1. Did I do something wrong in Farplane? Hold on. Okay, well, even in Farplane, it's saying that his base agility is 2. How did he get 9 agility? Oh! Oh! Oh, oh! This one is a 4-1. Okay, I just wasn't reading it right. 4-1, that's 5, and then... 6, 7. Okay. 
Yeah, holy smokes. I was used to his, like, agility from the beginning where it was, like, two. I'm like, there's no way he's got nine, right? Alright, I didn't, I didn't mess myself up with far plane or anything. I'm really trying so hard to not butcher this playthrough. I already feel bad about the... About the sensor thing. And like the full party AP thing. But... I guess so far I haven't, like, run into a situation where I've, like, very obviously done a boss in, like, a stupid way or, like, an unintended way. But we're probably fine, surely. Okay. Um, yeah. I think that puts me in a good place with uh, all this. Hmm. It's a shame. Kind of, I kind of wish I'd maybe given Kimari some extra HP with the purple sphere. But we might be okay. At least Riku got some HP. She desperately needed it. It's her physical defensive situation like so 13 and 12 all right so about fine just kind of low on hp honestly maybe she could use a purple sphere ah too late though that's all right i will live with these decisions that i've made uh, I guess I'll make another save since I did spend levels. And if I really regret it, I can go back and fix it. Now, Crawler. What are we thinking for Crawler? I think I'm going to go inside the travel agency after I talk to Awaka. Curse that Rin for taking up a place like this. He'll be rich by tomorrow all on account of this celebration thing. Hmm? What? You buying something from me? Great! I knew I could count on you, lad. How could I interrupt Awaka? How could I do that to him? Yeah, I think... Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Is I'm going to go inside the travel agency save and this session here and then maybe record the next session with crawler and seymour all right i think that's what i'm gonna do but first what does rin have not rin awaka Silence proof for Titus is interesting. Hmm. A dark proof for Waka in the desert? Maybe something interesting? Because, like, the birds and stuff? I don't know. I'm gonna buy that. I think that's a good idea. I wonder if there's something to be said for putting, like, auto-region on an armor piece and then, like, selling it for some gross amount of money and then just having a ton of money to, like, blow on potions and things. That'd be pretty funny. I wonder if anybody's done that. I haven't really watched any other playthroughs. That seems like a very unconventional strategy.
You know what, though? I'm actually curious enough to try it. I think before I end this session, I'm going to save and then customize, like, an auto-regen onto something and see, like, how much money would we get off of that. Okay, like nothing here. Oh, what? The agency is selling stuff for cheaper than a Waka? Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Okay. Okay, man. All right now. Let's see. What would be the best thing to put auto regen on? Ideally something with like Ah, yeah. All right. <laughs> this this just seems like a funny thing to try. I wonder. Oh my gosh. That's nothing. Okay. Uh, all right then. Hmm. I want to try more. One more thing for fun. How about how about auto haste? Actually, can I make that? Ah, no. There is no auto haste. At least not. Or well, not available to me now. Hmm. Okay. Well, that would have been an interesting one, but I'm not going to bother. This is cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to end this session here. So, next session is... I'm going to try to get both Crawler and Seymour in there. But, of course, it all depends on how much trouble I have with either of those boss fights. Uh, appreciate you guys watching, of course, of course. And that is all that I have got. Hope uh, hope everyone's having a good time. This has definitely been an interesting experience for me. Recording like this game in particular. And kind of doing this style of like editing and stuff. And wa especially like watching myself play. Because I tend to do things in the moment and just kind of you know, go a little crazy sometimes. And then I watch myself back and it's interesting. That's all I can say. But yeah, you guys have a good one, and we'll get more videos to you soon.